Kim and today we're going to be speaking a little bit about circle geometry, specifically to do with tangent theorems. What's very nice about tangent theorems is that whenever you see a question that has the word tangent in, immediately you know one of these three theorems is going to come up. So the first theorem is the Tancourt theorem. Basically, the angle between the tangent to a circle and the chord drawn from the point of contact is equal to the angle in the opposite segment. As you can see here, we have theta equal to this theta in the opposite segment over there. And the same is going to apply for x. Now how I used to always remember this question, because it can get very confusing when we've got a triangle that might be something like that. What helps me to remember it is that we've got this line over here that is touched by x. The opposite angle is the one that has nothing to do with that line over there. So between these two lines, we'll find our second angle. Great, so let's do an example. Here we have 50 degrees, and in the alternate segment, we have x. We know that there's a tangent involved, and there's a triangle. So this example is pretty clear on what we need to do. We need to find x over here. And given our value of 50, we know then that x is going to equal 50 degrees. Now the same will apply in reverse. We've got 20 degrees in the alternate angle. So we can see then that given theta over here, theta is going to equal 20 degrees since it's the opposite angle at the tangent. The second theorem that we're going to be dealing with is the tan perpendicular to radius theorem. As we can see here, we've got a tangent and we have our radius. Now the angle between the tangent and the radius will always be 90 degrees. So let's run through that. Here we have two lines. We have x and y. Let's start with y. We can see we've got a radius over here and a tangent and an angle between it that is unknown. That y value we know is going to equal 90 without having to prove anything else because that relates directly to our theorem. Then we have x. However, x isn't on the circle side. We've got our radius and we have our tangent and usually this over here would then be 90 degrees. However, we know because of angles on a straight line, our x value will also be 90 degrees. So our third and last theorem relates to two tangents that are drawn outside of the circle from the same point. Now at first this one can look a little bit intimidating, but what's quite nice about it is that it's very obvious Usually all of our other information given is directly around or inside the circle, but these two tangents we can see are drawn quite far out of the circle, and it's usually given like that in a diagram. What this th theorem tells us is that these two tangents drawn to the circle from the same point are going to be equal in length. So let's look at an example. Here we have two tangents PQ and RQ drawn from the same point Q, and we've got a circle center O and a line joined PR. They've asked us to find X and Y. Immediately I can see, okay, I know this theorem, PQ and RQ are going to be equal. Awesome. Now I've got a triangle PRQ, and what do I know about a triangle that has two equal sides? It's an isosceles triangle. So I know that x and y are going to be equal. They're going to be the same angle. I've also been given that q is 30 degrees. So having a triangle with three angles, I know that that's going to equal 180 degrees. So I have 180 degrees is equal to 30 plus x plus y. But as we said, x and y are the same. But we've already seen that x and y is the same angle. 
So we can then rewrite that as 180 equals 30 plus 2x. Then I can easily solve for x and find that 150 equals 2x. So x equals 75. Perfect. Now we've already seen that y equals 75 degrees as well because we've seen that x and y equal the same angle. However, we have to state that explicitly because at the moment we've just answered half of the question. So it's very important for us to also write that y equals 75 degrees. Right, so what did we go through today? We saw that our tangent theorems are quite simple. We've only got three. So all we have to remember when we're reading a question is that if the word tangent appears in the question, there's probably going to be something related to one of these three theorems. The first theorem we went through, the tan chord theorem, showed us that the angle made by a chord and a tangent is going to be the same as the angle in the opposite segment. We also saw that it's very important to be cognizant of the angle that is going to be made by which lines, so as not to get confused when we might have an obtuse triangle within the circle. The second theorem we went over, where our tangent is perpendicular to our radius. Now this one is also nice and simple, as it is just simply that the angle made between the radius and the tangent is 90 degrees. And the last one, which is usually the most intimidating of the theorems, is actually one of the more intuitive ones, where the two lines, the two tangents coming from the same point are equal in length. And this will usually give us information about an isosceles triangle and help us find angles that are equal to each other.